It's me, Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn about how to make an analog to digital converter within the Multisim. We will use the built-in ADC of the Multisim. Rather than following some branded type analog to digital converter ICs. So for it first, we have to select our power sources and we will select this VDD and VEE. We also need our main component that is the ADC. So this is our ADC. You first need to go to all groups and then write ADC here and then you will get your ADC. Okay, now this is our ADC IC in front of us. On right hand side, you can see D0 to D7. So these are the digital outputs. Okay, and what about this V reference to V reference negative? This is the amount of voltage or standard threshold through which we can tell this ADC that we are giving input in this range that is 5 volt or 0 to 5 volt so we will go for our ground and will connect our ground with the v reference negative actually these are the two points of the threshold like threshold range like from v reference negative to v reference positive so we will double click on this and we will change it to plus 5 volt. After that we must know that our ADC, our ADC, this ADC will give us output in the form of hexadecimal. The output will be digital but it is in the form of hexadecimal. So for it we need to go and we will take our what's called is the hexadecimal displays so we will take our orange color hexadecimal displays so this is the second one so these two are our displays hexadecimal displays Okay, now one more thing is the clock that is SOC pin. This is for the sampling rate, like uh, on which we are going to sample our inputs. So, can we take our digital clock? Yes, so you can give any arbitrary value here. Okay, no need to concentrate on that because we are not so much conscious about our sampling rate sampling rate simply means that in one second how much times we are going to read the input okay now okay now we will do one thing we need to connect our hexadecimal displays like this like this one and this one and then like this and then this like this one and also this one okay now what we will see or observe okay we will do one thing we will start from one volt we can use here some potentiometer or like that okay but we will randomly change and manually change okay now 3 3 is our hexadecimal output for this one volt okay now we will change it to 1.5 okay and and this is 4c Okay, now we will 
go and take our 3 volt and this is 99 okay and what about 5 volt so we will go for our 5 volt hopefully it will be ff okay yeah ff okay now we will go for 4.7 and we will see that uh, how it used to decay f just one f okay yeah it's uh, maybe there is some problem so 4.6 okay and okay it's a eb or sorry it's not eb it's e6 okay so can we uh, write some other thing like uh, 4.1 then it's d1 okay so it's working fine okay you can also attach some what's called as the leds or these indicators so that you will get in binary format although it is not uh, binary we can say yeah it's binary if it is like hexadecimal so we can say that it is in the form of 1001 and all that okay but here on this hexadecimal we are getting in the hexadecimal format so hopefully you got the concept regarding how to use the analog to a digital converter within the multisim so don't forget to subscribe and thanks for visiting our channel